So welcome to Techno Day of Life, and my name is Jeff, and this is Joe. I'm Joe, nice to meet you. And so today what we're doing is we're at Joe's house, and we're going to upgrade his Wi-Fi. So tell us a little bit about your Wi-Fi, Joe. Uh, right now I have the Netgear Orbi set up, and it, uh, it has good coverage, but I'm starting to get a lot of extra devices that are slowing it down. Uh, some things are dropping out or don't connect all the time. So I'm going to do a little upgrade and see what we can make better now. Yeah. So Joe is sort of understating when he says he has a few devices. He has over 60 at least, devices. Yeah. Yeah. At least, he says. Yeah. And so the Orbi, when I looked it up, it has about 40 per uh, access point. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. Yeah. So today we're going to upgrade him with an ingenious 4x4. And so basically these can have over 200 devices on each access point. And so hopefully that will cover Joe for a little bit into the future too, depending on how much stuff he buys. Of Short course. amount of filter or service. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing we did for this project is Joe had a Netgear switch, uh, but we needed PoE for the access points, so we got him a ingenious ECS 1008P, uh, which is a PoE switch so he can power his access points. So the next thing we had to do is I had Joe draw a map, uh, basically his house. And so we're gonna take an app and we're going to put this in the app and then we're going to uh, test the gear out. So basically we have some uh, extra wire. We're gonna plug in the access points, put them where we think they should go and then we're going to do Wi-Fi heat mapping to make sure the whole house is covered. Blue stripe, green. So next we want to scan the code on the back of the access point and add it to the app. And then you can change the name of the access point if you want. then it's connected to your network. Okay, now I'm going to use an app to scan the whole house to see how good our Wi-Fi is before we actually install them. And so for this, we've already uploaded a map that Joe made for us. And so now we're just going to go around and do it. And so basically you move the pin on the map to where it is and then you press scan and go from there. Okay, so we're about halfway through and we've done a little update. So we put the access points in different spots, turned them on, and what happened, Joe? Uh, we had one cord that was bad. Uh, our test cord that we pre-wired was bad, so we had to run a new cord to get that all squared away. Um, and once we got everything hooked up, so far everything seems to be working fine. Yep, he's, he was a little, uh, uh, what would we say about that? Uh, upset. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't quite that easy as he just made it out. So the cord, uh, we first we replaced the two ends and then we plugged it into a different port and we finally realized it was the cord. So then Joe made a new cord. Yep. So we got that all set up and then uh, we started testing the network and we found out it wasn't in mesh mode. And so the next thing is we had to figure out how to do it in mesh mode, which wasn't that obvious. No, no, a little searching on the uh, internet and user manuals on their website. We ended up figuring out how to get it set up in uh, mesh mode so it uh, communicates the way it's supposed to. Yeah, and so now it's in mesh mode, everything's working right, and so we have our little map that we did, and everything is red, so we have good internet everywhere. 
So now what we'll do is we'll actually install the A piece. And so Joe has already run some cables to the attic in different spots. We'll just hope those cables are good too. <laughs> if yeah. not, we're probably not finishing today, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. So next we'll install those er, install the access points. You want to move the drill around a little bit? You find it? Can you uh, can you move the drill bit around? Can I what? Can you move the drill around? I can't see it through the insulation. I hear it. Do it again. Okay. See it? No, not yet. Oop. There it is. Found it. Okay. Hit, pull it out? Yep. Got it. That's good. Excellent. That's good. Now you have to do two things at once. Plug it in while you're sliding it on. There you go. You want me to pull that? No, it's all right. Okay. This is going to be easier to find because you actually have the heating system right here. Yeah. So you just look where this is. Yeah. And then it will be right in that side. area there. Oh, the one thing we might want to be if there's a wire that goes from here all the way to there. Uh, we might not want to be right in the very center there. Yeah. All right. Let me go see what's going on up there. All right. I hear it. I'm hitting something hard. Okay. All right. So. You can drill up through there. Okay. See it? No. There's two ceilings, that's why. Yeah. Um, hold on. Oh, you're away. All right, hold on. Oh, I feel it. Okay, hold on. Okay. I gotta drill a hole in this false ceiling. Yeah. I'll need the drill. Okay, I'll bring it out. All right, push that up. This hole's not big enough. The hole's not big enough? No. Come on. All right, pull that out. I got it. Okay. Oh. oh, there's a stud there. There's one there too. Oh, we gotta plug it into the switch. Oh. <laughs> I was about to cheer. <laughs> There's that. Do we have lights? We have lights. We have blinkies? Blinkies. Winter dinner, winter, winter chicken dinner. Okay, so we got that finished. The APs are hooked up. Uh, both wires worked, so we didn't have to replace any wires once we got up there. Joe had to crawl around in the blown in insulation in the attic. Yeah. And we ran into one problem over here. What was that? Uh, there's actually two ceilings. There's a, the ceiling that's in the storage room, and then there's a ceiling above that, which then went above that to the rafters. So uh, a little bit of issue, not a long enough drill bit, but we made it work. There was some crawling and fiberglass insulation. So yeah. uh, it's a little itchy, but we'll, we'll survive as long as the internet works, that's all that matters. Yeah. So. yeah, he really had to, like, 
put his whole body down into that hole to get it through there. Yeah. So he's a trooper, that's but all right. what do you do for internet, right? That's right. Okay, that's it for today. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.